In 2017, I visited Saxe Waman, the massive pre-Columbian fortress that overlooks the city of Cusco, Peru from a hillside to the north. In an earlier video, I showed what I found in the three terraces of stone walls that you see in the background. For the rest of this video, I'd like to share with you what I discovered to the north of the complex, including a number of fascinating tunnels, stairways, ceremonial centers, and shrines. I'm above Sexy Woman, which you may be able to see in the background. And I'm gonna go up into some of these caves here, or these little crevasses uh, that are just to the east of the citadel, but still part of the overall complex. And I've seen a lot of videos about this place. And so it's, <laughs> it's so cool to, it's one of those pinch me moments that I'm actually here. Well, here's an interesting feature. Right here, in what would seem like a just a plain old rock, you have what looks to be possibly a throne. And over here, you have these, uh, you know, these rectangular protrusions that we saw at the Cora Concha. I mean, what what are they doing here? What's their purpose? Who knows? Let's get up a little bit higher here. I mean, look at these striations here. I don't know what those are. Now, as a having a geology background, I should know. But I mean, other than maybe from a glacier, but I don't. I don't know what these are. I'll put that question to you. I'll put this up on uh, YouTube and Facebook, and you tell me what these are. Okay, up here on top. The hill just to the east of uh, Saxo Lamont. Got a lot of kids exploring. But again, you can see these striations. These striations. Saxo Woman, still part of the overall complex. Down below. You can see this massive circular structure that may have been uh, some sort of a site for uh, ceremonies or rituals. Um, might have had some sort of astronomical or calendrical purpose. Or maybe all of the above but uh, we'll go right over here and check out some of these stones which have been carved we found a uh, uh, point of interest that I was hoping I would be able to see now if you can't tell what these are they look like stairs there's only one problem They're upside down. So why? Are they not stairs? Were they... Were they once uh, right side up and some massive, massive overturning flipped, flipped the stairs? I mean, looking around, you know, you can see a lot of loose boulders. But what explains those steps? It's very odd. Okay, still exploring some of the ruins around Taksa You can see there's a number of, a number of these large boulders are you know, you'll look over and at one moment they just appear like regular boulders in a field. And then every now and then there are carved portions. So it's really, 
It's really interesting. And if we come around this way, we can see some of these. I don't know if you can see right. See, it's hard for me to see on here, but right, I think right there. It looks like there's either, either they chisel blocks out of that boulder, or, I mean, it kind of looks like a throne. I don't know. Okay, this is kind of cool. Still atop Sexawaman, or at least the, uh, the mound adjacent to it. And right here in the middle of a field, you can see roped off is another example of these you know, would look to be boulders on one side. You know, just a plain, you know, just a plain boulder. You can see a piece has been carved out of here. And then along the front, a couple of other pieces. You can see just some. Some interesting cutouts here. Another cave through there, or a tunnel, which is sealed off. The classic Incan or pre Spanish trapezoidal niche. And here we are going into this cave. Okay, some more cutouts here. Various cutouts in these in these rocks. Number of cutouts over here. You can see trapezoid. Looks like a rectangle. Number of other little slots and niches and. Turn around so you can see. Maybe steps, maybe sla slabs were excavated here. Who knows? Roped off, unfortunately, for me. Maybe it'll be open when you come visit. And out the other side. We'll go back down here, and then we'll go around and through the tunnel where the kids were earlier. Now it's our time to go through this cave. You can see there's some more interesting carvings. You know, it almost looks like a face. And on the other side, not so much. So let's head on in. Okay. Too dark for me to see. And I do not have my headlamp. So I'm going to back out for just a second. As with so many sites and issues concerning the Inca or pre, you know, pre. Spanish civilizations here in Peru. There's just so many questions. I mean, it's hard to know 
and many of the histories are written from a European centric perspective or from a you know scientific perspective which hey I'm all for science um, but I don't know that I don't know that I've heard any good explanation for this and I don't think we should I'm hesitant to you know to write off some of the maybe the less traditional or conventional explanations you know you talk to the local people here and they are uh, adamant that this is a magical place that there are, are and have been in the past uh, you know powerful spiritual magical forces at work here one uh, guy that I was talking to earlier um, who has studied shamanism and Andean culture and spiritual beliefs his entire life um, was telling me that there are many who believe that Sacsayhuaman and some of Cusco and many of the other civilizations were built by a race of giants uh, that no human beings with the limited technology available to the Incas or the Kilki or, or the you know the Chanka or the whoever warrior or whoever else was here uh, could have could have done this and there's lots of videos on, on the internet that speculate anything from you know giants to aliens to whatever and I'm not laughing at them I'm not advocating for any of these um, I'm just saying that it seems to me that there are a lot of questions left and uh, you know just to say well this was done this was done during the reign of Pachacutec it was done with tens or hundreds of thousands of workers that's it is uh, a bit premature I think I just I don't know I think we need to keep digging and see if we can come up with a little bit you know some more evidence to support that Thank you.